there's been a massive realization in community that Bloodthorns can be a pretty solid option if you're looking for a nice win. However, what is the best combination to use with Bloodthorns? I did a little bit of experimentation and I tried this out with a lot of critical along with the bow and arrow and I hope you guys enjoy. All right, hopefully we can do it right this time. Um, I wanna try this new build, which I think is, uh, could potentially be better than every other build out there. A lot of people say that the Falcon Blade build is a little bit better, but I, on the other hand, have a different change of heart. What we're gonna do here, what are we gonna do here? Uh, we definitely need garlic to speed up the banana, and then I think we should more than likely probably just get the whetstone for DPS and then reserve the leather bag for some space. Um, we should probably win here because we have more DPS unless poison. That sucks. <laughs> I thought we were gonna win there, and then they also had the pan as well, so that's that. Definitely gonna get healing herbs. Go ahead and buy that, and we can just combine this. And I don't need any of this, so we're gonna reroll, and we got ourselves another leather bag. I could get another wooden sword, because I think that'll help as long with um combining it with the whetstone, just like this guy. Pretty much exactly what this guy has, I want. Now we do have uh, no, we don't do enough DPS. Yeah, we lose this right here. For sure. We don't do enough DPS. If we had this, on the other hand, I think that would have probably helped a little bit more. We could get another Weststone to combine this for a Hero Sword, but I kind of want to reserve my money and get more healing herbs. That's my main goal. We could buy this and turn that into a Super Pig, which we probably should. And we also is going to need the Goobert. Because Gooberts are good. This guy's got the Spike Shield. Um, got the damage on that. Yeah, I was going to say we were definitely... Uh, it was a close game, but I think we out-DPSed him. Um, and that's why we won. We could double up on the on the pig here. I know for a fact I want that. We're going to have to choose between Leatherback and Pig. And maybe even switch or just say goodbye to the Whetstone. Do something like this. That way we can actually use the Goober. And then we can use the... Um, we can use the Banana combine with the garlic so that the goober is all is all ready and then we can just do something like that i think or we could just say goodbye to whetstone and get ourselves another piggy bank so we can get a little bit extra money and re-roll two times because we found a healing herb which is something we need oh hold up this build is disgusting he's got double whetstone and it's being combined into the wooden sword plus the shovel for that um for that blind and then he's got the healing potion i don't know if we're gonna beat this especially if that blind keeps on stacking up which is not surprisingly we only have two here comes fatigue and we take the w if i think he's i think he just had a stamina problem and, he, and the shovel didn't cast as much because if it would have casted more that would have been bad for us we wouldn't be able to hit due to accuracy let's get that definitely gonna be picking up healing arbor and we might as well get the space because we're gonna need the space anyways um and we are going to Huh, I wanted to put whetstone on one of those, but I'm not sure if we'll be able to because we don't have the space. I would have to move one of these over, but yeah, they're all kind of just being occupied, which is fine. Honestly, I kind of just want to sell it at this point. Oh yeah, we're definitely gonna need both of those. Yeah, all right, let's start. Definitely gonna need both of those. Hoping we get lucky and find ourselves the, uh, I forgot the exact name for it, but I'm just gonna call it the vampire sword. Hoping we get lucky and find one of those. Our Goober is saving our life right now, I think. We don't have enough DPS to kill him, but I think we just out-healed him or something like that. I'm not sure, but we took the W. That's what I like. Oh, we had just enough gold for that. Let's sell you just so I can re-roll two times. We definitely need that, and we need some space. Um, let's move you. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's do this to make our banana just a little bit faster. We could do that to combine it with the vampire gloves, and we could just have that just anywhere i think would work perfectly fine for me oh this guy now this guy has enough we already got two there goes three there goes four yeah we're not hitting him anymore and the only thing we can rely on is our healing and he dies of fatigue before we do because we had 10 stacks of blind that's 50 percent accuracy right 50 percent accuracy so we're hitting half the time there's no way we're gonna out dps him the only reason we won that i believe is because of goobert and that's it, just because of Goober and, you know, Banana, of course, but mainly because of Goober. So I think we basically just out healed him. And we got lucky, we found the Hungry Blade. Um, honestly, I'm thinking we could pretty much just sell both of these at this point. We don't really need them anymore. And let's go ahead and cop that. Let's move the border over, put that there. That way we could put our Hungry Blade, move both of these up by one. And 
we need some space. Let's... Let me see here. We're gonna need this, and we're also gonna need that. So I'm gonna reserve that. The reason why I want, I said we need the space is because I would love to use um, both of these on the Hungry Blade. That's the reason why I said we need space. Now, the thing is, I need space for this, which we can easily do. I don't know why I'm talking so much. I'm sorry. That was the easiest solution. I could have figured that out so much sooner. Hey, we could just do something like that. And uh, problem solved. Now, let's start. I'm going to reserve my three gold just because I want to buy the heroic potion. I also want to buy other things. This looks like a poison build if I've ever seen one. Is he going to be able to put it on us enough, though? We got 20 so far. No, sir. You are not. We out heal. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and buy the piercing arrow. Ooh, this is a... I was going to say a tough decision, but I don't think so. I'm going to buy that just for space for the future. We're going to need that. Um, we only got one goal left, so let's just re-roll. And I don't... Well... I'm going to reserve it, but we'll see. I think we will have enough space in order to use a shield of Valar with our build. I'm not completely sure, but I think so. Hopefully we are. And we just slap that on, slap that on. Slap that on? Oops. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Put that on just for the start of the battle. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that works perfectly fine. Let's see what we're going against. Oh, we got the Falcon Blade. Can we do this, though? It looks like we're out DPSing him for sure. So I think we take this W. I'm surprised I don't see another weapon with that. He literally only has the Falcon Blade. Oh, I didn't. We don't even have enough gold to get you, my friend. And I'm not about to sell anything, I don't think. So we're going to have to make this work one way or another. So here's what we're going to do. We're actually just going to put that in the top right hand corner. And put the shield there because it's just perfect slots. Um, and then we are going to get one of these guys. Put it about right. Uh, no, we're going to move it up. Yeah, just like that. And let's go ahead and put you down. Just like that for the sword. Sorry, for the sword. And then we could put both of these down for the speed. Um, Lotus on top. Put the garlic right there. Put that right there. And we can move this over to upgrade the potion. Put that there, get a little bit more percentage on that. So instead of it being uh, items activate 50% chance, it is now a 70% a chance. Um, so yeah, and we could put that there and move that there just for, you know, the activation. Oh, dang, I just realized this isn't hitting the sword. Ooh, so it just really doesn't even matter. How can I make this hit the sword? I think it'll be fine, actually. We could do that. Yeah, we could do that. That works. A little bit better. One thing we're missing right now is the bow, which is something that I definitely am going to need. Um, I need that bow. Like now. I'm just going to sell you. I don't, I don't really... Well, now that I sold you, I have access to this guy. So, that's eh, fine. We'll just go. We'll just go. I think we're fine. We could min-max and use that for the Hungry Blade, but I think we're fine. Whoa. What do we got going on here? They're doing DPS to us, but we're healing. Fatigue's kicking in. Damn. What was this? We had 22 things of poison on us. Um, he had the Hungry Blade along with the Magic Staff. Flying Art. What is the magic? It uses three. Okay. Interesting. I don't know how we got so much poison on us, though. Unless it was just a Cursed Dagger. As far as the Cursed Dagger putting a bunch of poison on us, maybe. Because he only he had one Flying Arlick. Oh, and then the, uh, the Storage Coffin. Which activated because of the magic staff, the hungry blade, the dagger, and the berries. And that's why we got so much poison on us, I believe. That was a good build, though. I gave him props for that. So, let's put that there. Let's go ahead and min-max this just a little bit. Do a little something like that. Um, I will buy you. I'm going to re-roll it here. Oh, yeah, we definitely need that. We're going to need that, too. I need to get me a bow. That's the main thing we're lacking on right now because of the crit. We need that crit to go off and we need the bow in order to do that, which sucks. Just a tad. Just a tad. And the only thing really activating our Goobert is really to shoot a Valar and our Hungry Blade. 
I guess. We can even pretty much just sell the garlic at this point. I don't think we need it all too much. I can rock this. We can rock this. Hopefully we win this next one. Oh, we're going to get a bow with thorns. It's got a bunch of armor. Can we pierce through that armor, though? I don't think so. I think we, we lose this. We're not going to do enough DPS. Yeah, we almost had him, though. We got one health left. I'm hesitant to buy this. But I'm buying it. But I don't think we're going to be able to find a bow. Oh, I want to buy that, too. I need a bow, though. Oh, I need a bow. I need a bow. Damn it. No bow. We could put that there, turn that into a blood um, goober, which is going to be essential for our build, but I don't I don't think we win this next one. Unless we get extremely lucky. Triple goober. Looks like he's going for the, the five goober build, but because he's doing that, I think we win this just because of that. I don't, you know, because he's trying to focus on the gooberts. We got a little bit lucky there. Ooh, this guy's on sale. We have to buy that. Damn it, bro. I want to buy that for... You know what? Fuck it. We're buying that for the potions. Got another potion. Ooh. Can I sell... Oh, yep. Sell that. Get that. Oh, I forgot. We need thorns. We haven't upgraded our hungry blade. No wonder. I don't even know if I even ran into a thorns. I'm so surprised. Oh, my God. One health. One freaking health. Okay, we finally got the bow. That's a W. We'll be taking that for sure, and let's rearrange this a little bit here, so we can actually put the bowl down. Okay, that's exactly what we need. Um, man, we need to, we need to get thorns for the hungry blade or the the thorn whip for the hungry blade. I say we buy a heroic potion just because I do not want to run out of mana at all. Mana. What am I talking about? I do not want to run out of stamina at all. Um, do we have any extra space? We really don't. I mean, we could just do something like this because I do want to use my pig on the um on the piercing arrow, but then I don't have. Well, I guess I could put it there. I'd rather have it on the hungry blade. To be honest, not too sure though. I'm gonna buy that just for space. But yeah, I need to find thorns. Thorn whip. I don't know why I keep saying thorns. This guy, another freaking carrot falcon blade build, man. There's a lot of those going around lately. I'm telling you. It's a lot of them going around. Um, I'm going to risk it. I want that, but give me thorns, please, game. There we go. That's exactly what I needed. And we got enough money for it, too. The only bad thing, we don't have health. We don't have health and we don't have space. What's the build that I have? It's not complete. But it does a lot of damage. I'll explain it. I'm going to try it again after this. After this, I'll try it again. Because I kind of messed up by not getting Thorn Whip early. But now that I have it, I have to use it. But I don't have anywhere to put it. I could put it here. But we're, ne we're, we're definitely not winning the next one if I do that. We might win with this one. Maybe. We're going to be over stamina and we would have to kill the dude quick. Because once we run out of stamina, it's over. It's an interesting build he has. He's got three birds. All these items are going to trigger hella fast. And he's got the falcon blade along with the fin. Why do you have the fancy f uh, fencing reaper? He uses three luck to gain two damage. And he's got the three luck, so it's going to gain at two damage. And I guess the Falcon... I guess his main DPS is the re, the Rapier. With the Falcon Blade boosting the Rapier. And then the Falcon Blade is just boosting a bunch of food around him. That's the only thing I can think of. He's using the Falcon Blade to make the Rapier hit super duper fast. And then just as a byproduct, just using food. Like a bunch of food. But I think we take this home. <laughs> I think we take this home and our build got just so much better, actually. Okay, I might actually explain it now since the build is kind of evolving itself. It's nice looking. Thank you. Okay, so basically our main DPS 
is um i believe bloodthorn now bloodthorn thorn on hit it converts uh one of our region into vampirism and then it deals plus one damage per vampirism that we have we have one two three four regens right here so all that regeneration is pretty much just getting trans or getting swapped into damage for this weapon and then we also have the vampiric gloves which makes this uh 35 faster each so that's 70 percent speed and then it's on three fanny packs so that's 100 so it's going 100 percent faster just by being there alive i guess and then the vampiric gloves also after four seconds four seconds we gain six vampirism which helped these attack even harder if the battle lasts long enough um and then we also have the blood gober which at the start of band, the battle, we gain even more vampirism. And I still 10 plus um, my vampirism's life, right? After six activations. So I, I take 10 of his health plus the vampirism that I already have. Now, at the start of battle, we're looking at, if we're adding this as well, we're looking at six, 12, um, I guess 12, I guess, at the start. Or in that, was that 14? But you also got to keep in mind this one uh, converts. Oh, no, it doesn't. It converts the region. So, yeah, we'll have 12. And then so that's what, 22. So we're selling 22 life each time this thing activates. Um, and then the bow and arrow pretty much weapon crits um, twice or the weapon shoots twice. Um, and then this is just helps with crit. So this helps with just crit damage. So I guess we could really just remove this bow and arrow situation. If we really wanted to, I just realized this needs to go up here. <laughs> There we go. Wait a second. Can we? No, we can't. I was going to think we can make space for this shield, but no, we can't. Even if I wanted to. We'll have to wait till the next round. We also need space in general. But that's pretty much how this build works. So you'll see we have 20. We, we got 20 right there. Damn it. I did not mean to. I did not mean to pass. I apologize. I wanted you to actually see it. Do I need this? I don't think so. I'll buy that. There's the space we need. Boom. So now this, this, um, these activate, there's a 35% chance to prevent 10 damage when I get attacked, pretty much, right? Um, so one, when one of these activates, that activates that, which helps the activations go by a little bit uh, faster. And that's pretty much why I have that. And then the acorns here, um, gain five percent critical hit chance for each clover this thing gives me two clover so that's a 10 percent increase and then this guy 50 percent chance to gain one whenever um the bow or the bloodthorn activate the gloves don't really matter the gloves only activate after four seconds right um and then this guy uh, chance based effects the star items uh gain 20 percent more likely chance to trigger so this is actually a 70 percent chance when these activate i'll gain a clover and this feeds off the clover giving it more crit chance and when this crits this double hits and that's how all of that works together um in succession oh and then this um these every two seconds i gain um luck which helps with my crit or pierce which helps with my damage right when this is every two seconds i could put this down here so that's what 70 percent faster Right, which is like every one point something second or something like that, which I can make it even faster if I were to use fanny packs and all that jazz. Okay. I don't know if we'll have the chance to do that, though. Yippee. And they're dead. <laughs> but you'll see here I have 23 vampirism. This thing is doing 38 to 42 damage. That one is just does the 8 to 11. Um, but yeah, 100% accuracy, 38 to 42 damage. My crit chance is 45%. It's pretty much. Um, so yeah, I had nine clovers at the end of that. So this thing, act even though it's a 60%, oh, it's only 60%. I wonder why it's a 60% chance. I thought it was going to be like 70, because, you know, 50 plus 20 is 70. Weird. But anyways, we had nine clovers at the end of that just because of this and that. So we gained, what, seven clovers in that short amount of time just from that. Oh, I forgot I had a second one of these too. So I could really move this. Because the only thing that matters with crit is this guy. So I could really move this over because this feeds off of this as far as criticals go. So this could have been a 90% crit chance if I just move this over there. It made my build just that much better. 
And then I can move this right there. Get some speed on that. Um, honestly, I'm looking for fanny packs. That's really what I need right now. Here we go. We got one. Put that there. Make that a little bit faster. I could get another one. Am I going to be able to fit this crit somewhere? I don't... Actually, yes, I can. See it. Well, we'll see at the end of this battle. This crit might be worth it. I'm going to reserve it. Just to see how much crit it'll have at the end. But we literally just shredded through that guy. Literally just shredded straight through him. So we have 70. That's it. I guess we didn't have that much luck, though. Only had uh, seven instead of that nine. What do the D degen lamps do? Um, every It's every two seconds, but since I have this here, these two, it says 1.1. But every two seconds, you gain one luck or one pierce or one mana, depending on which one you have least of. That's pretty much what that does. And um, it uses 7777 7, 7, 7 and 27 health to, gain, to get that weapon um, plus 27 damage, which I don't really care about that. The only thing I care about is that, that luck or pierce that's all i care about and just to keep in perspective this is this is the only thing that's given us mana and we gained seven mana right there i don't know how many times this thing activated but it activates every 1.1 second so yeah the next round should be our last we got another degen lamp usually what i like to do let's do this This is usually what I like to do because at least you have like you got two degen limbs now. So you're going to gain it at double the speed, right? And if we were to have more of these, the protective purses, well, I, I don't know, actually, because there's no way we're getting um, resistance. So I guess this would never trigger because we never have that seven resistance. Unless we just had like a bunch of the protective purses, but the enemy just rips through our defense before this can activate and give us that 27 damage, I believe. And now I don't really have a space to put this. I guess I'll put it there. I guess it's not bad with those crit. But yeah. Should destroy this guy. <laughs> that battle did not last long at all. What was his build? Oh, he had Tim. He had Tim. I'm glad he didn't steal our vampirism. That would have been bad. That's crazy. I wonder if I can get into diamond with this build. 